creating these two fields in your database in your database tables called as created add and updated add. Now, the reason why these two are important is let's say you make a change. You're debugging your application. You're trying to make sure it's working fine. And when the record does get created in the database, the created that date could be the date. But a record gets updated, that's when the updated add date would be updated. So now you know when the record was created and you know when the record was updated. When you have a problem and you're not sure where the, when the issue is, where you should solve it, these two fields are going to be incredibly helpful because you would know exactly which customers would be impacted, what action plan you should take to resolve those issues and so on. A lot of databases have this option of automatically doing this. Postgres already has an option to automatically just update it as well. So that's what we did to update the fields. And there were quite a few bugs that we ended up resolving because of it, because we were able to track which customer rec created a record and updated a record and who would be getting impacted by this specific change and so on. So definitely add these two columns in your database.